works. So how are you, uh, can you explain this, how the setup works? So, so underneath I've got a piece of cast iron pipe that um, has a bunch of holes in it under here. So the air is blowing uh, through the holes and getting air, it's a good air supply for the cold to burn well, good and hot. So that's, you haven't really done anything special. That's, where's that fan from? Is that from like uh, a uh, bathroom? Uh, it's from, it's from like a fireplace, I think. And then I put a DC on it. Can I see your setup? So I've got a variac over here so I can turn up the air supply and vary how much air it gets. Because the more air you're going to add, the hotter it's going to get. So you, don't could you do this too. with a blow dryer, you think? Oh, yeah, sure. So just like a blow dryer blowing into a, a yep. pipe? Yeah, lots of people do that. So uh, what are we using for the fuel source here? Just coal. Just regular coal like you get for your grill? Uh, no, not charcoal. This is like real coal from the ground. <laughs> because, because it uh, burns hotter, right? And I can get it for cheap and, well, really free. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep. It does burn hotter, though. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Not cleaner, though. <laughs> yeah, not cleaner. <laughs> That's all the nice smoke. So use the, uh, use the grill stuff until you need a really, really hot flame. Yeah, you can... The grill stuff will get plenty hot, too. You want to use lump charcoal, though, which is because the briquettes have clay in them and all kinds of other stuff, so they don't... It's not as much fuel for how much you buy. Uh -huh. um, so you want to get lump charcoal, which is like just wood charcoal. It's, it's pure wood, and it burns a lot hotter. That's what people actually use that for foraging. Um, but, yeah. Thanks, Joe Kim. Yep. Good time for a fire, right? Definitely. Especially when this hot. Yep, it's melting all the snow. <laughs> wow, this is so simple. Oh, you yeah. wouldn't think that uh, creating your own setup would be this easy. I mean, you could make it even simpler with just a hole in the ground, too. <laughs> People have done that too, but bricks are a little bit easier. Uh, easier. You can see that uh, glowing wool. So we're taking the temperature of the metal right now. All right, oh, so let me get over there. Oh, it's over. There. Okay, so we're at the limit of the thermal couple, which is like 2,000 degrees, so we're ready to start. Right. Right, let's get the thermal couple out before it melts. We'll do yours first. The thermal couple is glowing and dripping molten bronze. <laughs> I think that means we're ready. Uh, I'll give you a quick rundown of what I'm about to do. Alright. So I'm about to use this stuff, which is flux. Uh -huh. So I'll put about a spoonful of it in, stir it into the metal with the uh, graphite rod. And basically what that'll do is pull all the impurities and the, uh, the gases that are actually trapped in the metal. Right up to the top. Right to the top. I'll scrape that off and then we're ready to pour. Beautiful. It's going to be a really clean pour because of that flux. Yep. With my fancy crossing string. <laughs> We're using nothing for what it was meant to do. <laughs> I don't think the designer of this stainless steel spoon intended it for scooping coal pieces off of bronze. <laughs> Molten bronze, no less. <laughs> We're cooking metal. I think we already matched it. Alright, thermocouple Stated or <laughs> the thermometer overtaxed. It has reached its peak over 2,000 degrees. All right, so set that down somewhere. All right, let me see that. Glowing inside. Yep. Nice. We got that. Insulating wool. That stuff can take a ton of heat. Yes. That is kale wool. Yep. Which is like normal house insulation is fiberglass. Uh -huh. That's ceramic, basically. Ceramic. Fiberglass. Nice. That's still glowing. That's been out for a while. Uh, that's in that little hacked kiln. That's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna add some of the flux. Don't breathe this. Is that pretty toxic? I don't know. You just don't want to figure it out? You got it. All right. a little when you breathe the smoke. Go, whoa. So I'm gonna get a picture of this flux so they know what it is and they can look for it. <laughs> it's still on fire? There's nothing more fun than playing with molten metal. <laughs> Joe Kemp's filming for his YouTube channel. Yep. Maker J101 again.
And I don't know when the video will be up next. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, you got full time school. Yeah. Okay, we ready to do this? I'm so. I'm Before super ready. Board, All right. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's do this. It's gonna be beautiful. Okay, you don't have to. Oh, we essentially both have to. Yeah. Let me get the shovel to get the cold right away. Or do you got it? Oh, you got it. Going right. Going to get close up in here. Woo! That is hot. Uh, have to get a better grip on it. Set it back in the fire to get a grip on it. Okay. Not particularly terrible. Uh, turn the yeah. That good? To help, yeah. Screw the pork bottle. We're fine. Uh, all right. Yeah, we're fine. So you want to get the coals off the top? I guess yeah. we'll take it out of fire first. Or? No, it's fine there. Okay. It's not like I haven't lit my glove on fire <laughs> three or four times already right. today. This or is so hot time. that it starts melting my phone case at two or three feet. <laughs> do, they, do you have a warranty for that? <laughs> I'm pretty right. sure it's gone phone, now. <laughs> they see oh, this video. Oh, my phone case got melted to my phone. So much for this phone. <laughs> All right. Oh wow, that's really cool looking. We'll do your mold first. All right. All right, let's go around and do my mold. Try to pour it on my foot. so cool. I wouldn't stand where you're standing. <laughs> where I'm standing? Yeah. All right. In case the mold comes up. Okay. All right. Let's pour some muffins. Yep. This is for further use so you can make that big bar smaller. Yeah. <laughs> this is just a muffin tray. This is literally a steel muffin tray. All right. The metal in the crucible, it'll crack it when you heat it up again. Oh, really? Because the metal will expand more than the crucible. <laughs> oh, that's so hot. That is awesome. Woo! All right, so that. Oh, let me look fire. at the inside of that. Oh, yeah. That's, that's some hot steel. Oh, yep. Bro. Oh, it's, it's actually. Uh, well, this is so the graphite. graphite. That's a graphite clay. container and it's graphite full orange clay. graphite. Wow. Yep. That is incredible. Oh, so we poured all the metal we need to pour? Yep. Ooh. All right, guys. Thank you. Woo. This is beautiful. So we poured bronze. I will uh, show you the results later. Hey, everyone. So um, this is the last live video for today it looks like we're about to demold the pour that we just did to see the flywheel and the belt buckle so we're hoping that the metal went all the way through and it filled the entire mold but we're about to find out oh that smells do this in a well ventilated area yes. we're in a garage and the doors open oh whoa that's one of the benefits of green sand is it doesn't smell so bad. Yeah. Because it's just water and clay. This actually burns. Yeah. Shoo! Super smoky. It smells. Gonna lift it out. Yep. Oh, that is toxic. Maybe. Probably. Yeah. Probably safe. Just let me. Hmm. 
I oh, see a center hub. Wow. Yeah. Let me get a different bucket. And both Keep belt buckles turned out. Let's see what we oh, got. that is incredible. Yeah. Woo! Not Success. quite on that one, but. Ooh, that one looks nice. Nice. Both of the forms were milled on boxy. I am proud to say. No, don't put it in that bucket. We'll keep it separate. Okay. Grab me another bucket. Oh, that I am proud of. You should be proud of that. That's gorgeous. A lot of trial and error. Second attempt in casting. This is. How long have you been working on this design? Six, eight months. I tried a bunch of other, uh, what'd you call? Originally I was gonna do a larger flywheel and a larger engine, so I scaled it down to actually fit boxy. Ow, hot things are hot. Thermodynamics still works, people. <laughs> hot things are still hot. In this hot. garage, we honor thermodynamics. Yep. That was once Beautiful. just wax. And we still have the wax, so I can actually make more of these. <laughs> That's the best part. Wow. Oh, you know what? Put in That is crazy. Solid bronze. Well, see you guys what you can do at home. That's going to become part of a hit miss engine.